Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise back with another one. Briefly, briefly. So you see on the screen, in case you haven't seen it, there's a couple pictures going around with, um, at first initially it's Kevin, um, TLA and MTR. And then there's this new picture where they added Dennis Sperling. So of course, as you can see, one of those who shall be remain nameless got a hold of it and had to post it to her wall. The top tier effeminate F nakers on YouTube have all united. So the funny thing about this to me, because even though I don't really talk about them here, I will not say their names and things of that nature, is that for people that do not like others, the others, I'll just say it that way so much, and they're so happy with swirl life and divestment and things of that nature, they stay on the ass of black men and what they are doing. So why is that would be my question. They just put this picture out yesterday. I don't even believe it has been 24 hours since they put out this picture. Actually, there's a picture before this one without Dennis Sperling in it. So that picture is not even up for 24 hours. And yet they then found it to put it on their po um, wall so that all these women can talk negatively. Here we go with um, all the negativity from all these black women. Of course, this is the reason that this was put up so that can so that they can just go off, get the get the hyenas all riled up so that they can get united and get together and have something to come behind because that's all they got. And when I say that misery loves company. This is the epitome of miserable women because I'm so confused as to why you spend so much time carrying on about people that you don't care a daggone thing about. But you know, one other thing that I notice about these heifers over here, and I don't like calling them that because I use heifer as a term of endearment, but these, these shall remain nameless, crazy people, hyenas over here is that they never go after people who will come back with the smoke. They do talk about Red Supreme and he do be giving it to him. He does, he does, he does. But I don't see them going at Ramil, Mr. Palmer, Logic Sphere. I don't know what the Logic Sphere talks about, but I know he goes hard. I never seen them do one thing regarding Angry Man. I really don't see them talk about Fresh and Fit. They definitely will talk about women, though. They do go after women for show, for show. But for the most part, they don't go to say anything about anyone that's really going to come back and bring that smoke. Why is that? Why is that? But they can go around bullying, bullying, bullying. Look at all these comments. Just look at all these comments. Here's the bussy popping. I don't even, I mean, I, I guess I understand what that means. That's just so stupid. Uh, this, of course, everyone has to be, um, A, B, C, D, because when you have nothing to really say of any type of substance, let's just go towards anything negative. Oh, wow. You got a guy in here too, huh? Okay. All right. So the hundred thousand plus is more than, uh, women. And then, and I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, you got a white woman in here too. At least she looks white, light, very bright. But again, like I've said before, if it's something that I'm not interested in and it's something that bothers me or something that I hate and dislike so much, I'm not going to be giving it all this attention. But of course, I know that's the shtick and the bread and the butter. But the hypocrisy is crazy considering that the person that posted it is supposedly married to a black man. So I don't understand. And then said black man talks negatively about black men like he's not a black man. Like it's mental here on YouTube. It is truly mental here on YouTube. You know, it is what it is, but it's the foolishness of the fact that women want to go to a space and a place where it's only negative. Like, what is this doing for your life at the end of the day? What is doing this with these type of posts and the stories that they do? What is that doing to enhance any of these women's lives? So is it just a pastime? 
Is it just to hang out like this instead of going out to the club? You go into the um, YouTube street in order to talk negatively about black men so that you can find a place in real life in order to go and try to bring them down and take them down as the divestors try to do. Like, if, like, seriously, if this is your complete focus in life, you should seek some help, mental health help. Black women are crazy. And the fact that if life is so wonderful with D white man, shout out to the white people, no offense against you, but if life is so wonderful with D white man, why spend all of your time worrying about what black men are doing, what they're saying, what they're putting up on their posts, what their videos say, where they're going, who they're meeting with. That's a lot of specific time that you're spending doing that. It doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's me. I don't know. But I do listen to those people. I do. I just listen because I just want to see how crazy they are. I was actually just in a, a chat um, with a woman who's saying that, Oh, the YouTuber who shall remain nameless, she shall remain nameless has make some great points. I'm like, well, a broke clock, a broke clock is um, right twice a day. That doesn't mean that that's someone that people should be uh, taking her word as gospel. All she does is reiterate the same intelligently sounding words. And people just are rolling with it and rolling with it and rolling with it. And the fact that YouTube is out here talking about incels and what's not allowed and you know, the, the hate and the community guidelines, I just don't get how this is still even being allowed. Especially the abort black male babies part. Because again, that's another hypocritical thing to say. How are you pregnant with any black baby if you're supposed to be away from black men? It doesn't make good God sense. The message is stupid. And yet they continue to go there in droves. And the fact that these people don't want to take a look at the fact that what they're doing, you're, control, you're in control of your own damn life. Here's a newsflash, everybody. You are in control of your own life. Unless you're in prison. You can decide who you date. You can decide where you go. You can decide where you work. You can decide who you F. You can decide who you have baby with, who you have a baby with. And for now, you're going to choose to abort. You can't blame that on no race and nobody. Don't get mad at the person that you chose to bring into your life. You make those decisions. You need to do that vetting. And you're not going to get it right 100% of the time because you know what? None of us are perfect. Life is not perfect. Life means that you go through an experience, you either learn from it and grow from it, or you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And I'm going to continue to say those same daggone things. And I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I'm so tired. I'm just so tired of the blame game. Honestly, on both sides, but more so on the woman's side because it's so stupid. It's just stupid. It's so stupid. You know, hopefully this is just for YouTube and then they hang up um, or turn the computer off and then they um, go out and act normal in the world. But I don't believe that to be true. Common sense. What makes sense? Making good choices. And if you make a mistake, then you change what you're doing in order to get a better outcome. Not sit around and blame somebody else because of a mistake that you made. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. And if you're expecting a perfect daggone life, then you might as well be done with it now. Because that's just not how it works. I don't, under I don't understand how anyone can be mad at a picture of grown men, grown successful men on YouTube and find a way to down that. But you, you sitting up here getting into Patreons uh, and, and behind the scenes outside of you, after you say the rhetoric on YouTube, sitting up here calling people the N-word hard E-R, like you're not basically at the end of the day, an uh, N-word hard E-R, because you're no different. And act like you don't have a daggone man at home that, or a baby or something like that. That's, that's of the same. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can say that, but then turn around and say that the guy that got deleted in Miami, it's all on him because he chose wrong. He chose his preference and his preference took him out is what they're saying. You're absolutely right. He did. And that's exactly what happened. Now I'm making that story about domestic violence. Y'all want to bring up his old tweets. 
Okay, fine. I don't give a damn. The story still remains. It's still a domestic violence situation. And the point is, don't deal with anyone, male or female, if they're going to be hitting up on you. That was the point of my story. They want to be over here talking about black women. This is not your issue. He chose his preference. You're choosing your preference. That man chose his preference. Y'all still mad. That naker, as they call him, chose who he wanted, and that's fine. You're right. That's his choice. He's being held accountable, I guess, for that choice. But y'all don't want to hear it and see it when anyone says it about you. No, you want to hurl insults and try to take people out. What? So it's like black women can say whatever the F they want. If it don't go along with them, then they taking them out. It's okay for y'all to say that y'all want to be with white men, but this man says it and it's a problem. It's not okay for him to talk about black women, but it's okay for y'all to talk about black men. What? What? Get some effing help. Y'all are crazy. Oh my God. It's just freaking mind blowing. And the fact that people are still going to follow these people, listen to it and feed into it. And where, where are they going to end up alone? They're going to sit up here and just spend the rest of your life on YouTube doing meetups with the, the miserable crew. The miserable mammies at the end of the day, because that's absolutely what they are. You, you, you talk about black male worship. Well, so you cha just changed it to white male worship. All excited about that article that says that black women should date out to white men. Good luck to you. Have at it. Focus on that. You should be having seminars on where to meet Asians and white men and uh, whatever, eight, uh, Puerto Ricans and all that. That's what you should be concentrating on. But for some reason, you still so focused on the person, on the, I'm sorry, on the people that you claim that you hate. And trust me, I believe that you hate black men. I honestly do believe that after having listened for the last four to five months. And that's fine. Hate them. Move on though. When do y'all move on? Like if the goal is to have these women to be happy, then why is it that you're not having seminars on where to find them and how to get them and how to treat them and what you do thereafter? Why aren't y'all doing that? It's just hate, 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 hate in your heart, hate in your head. But you know what? Let me, I know I keep saying that. Y'all have it. You got that. Enjoy. Continue to bring more attention to, to these gentlemen here. You know, that's all you're doing. As they're over there making money, making moves, moving forward, you all are over here following around on people who give you nothing at the end of the daggone day. So you can come over here and just be miserable, spout hateful stuff, and just continue to give them money and still be at home by yourselves miserable with no white man in sight. I just wanted to get on here real quick. I appreciate you if you made it this far. Please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, consider becoming a channel member. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next one.